So it looks like Tierra Marie is still super salty about Jay-Z and Beyonce ruining her career because she just came out to expose them and put them on blast. And then there was the whole issue with Jay-Z. Have you and Jay-Z yet met and, you know, made a man? It was his decision to let me go. Okay. It looks like she is sick and tired of staying silent and watching Rihanna enjoy the fame that she should have had. So she is finally speaking up and revealing just how Jay-Z and Beyonce played her, killed her career, and had her thrown out like trash. Um, did Beyonce really help Jay-Z to manipulate the label? I am a victim. So it has been quite some time since Tierra Marie disappeared from the music scene and people have been wondering what on earth happened to her. She had a promising career, was signed to one of the biggest record labels and even had a couple of hit songs all before she even graduated from high school. But then she suddenly dipped and even though she continued to make a living in Hollywood, she never found success as a singer again. Well, Tierra is now spilling the tea about what really happened and there was a lot to unpack in this story because she made some wild allegations. She pretty much accused Beyonce of conspiring with Jay-Z to ruin Tierra's career so that Rihanna could have her spot as the darling of Def Jam Records. But before we get into the rest of Tierra's revelations, I need to give y'all some background info that's going on to help you understand why she's so angry with Beyonce and Jay-Z. So way, way back in the early 2000s, Tierra Marie was signed to Def Jam Records and the label had big hopes and plans for her. I mean, Jay-Z even referred to her as the princess of Jeff Jam, and knowing the high standards that Jay-Z has, I think we can all agree that he doesn't handle compliments like that that easily. Let's talk about some of the artists. Um, Tiara Marie. Yeah. Okay, and she's the first lady of the rock? Or she's the gonna... princess. Now, this was way before Rihanna signed with Def Jam, but even after she got signed, it really didn't change things at all that much for Tiara because she was still the princess of the label. The label execs, especially L.A. Reid, had more faith in Tiara than Rihanna to be the next big thing. Rihanna already had a great song titled Pondy Replay lined up to be released, but the label still paid more attention to Tiara because she had already dropped a hit song titled Make Her Feel Good. Well, according to Tiara, she allegedly feels like Jay-Z started to feel a type of way about the fact that the label was giving her more push than Rihanna. And if you're wondering why on earth he would feel like that, it's because he felt like Rihanna was his responsibility since he was the one responsible for signing her to the label. But unfortunately for him, the label execs didn't feel that way about Rihanna and they continued to give Tiara a lot of preferential treatment. One occasion where it was clear that she was the label's favorite was when she teamed up with Rihanna and another artist named A. Marie to perform a cover of Lose My Breath by Destiny's Child. Tiara took the solo part that was originally sung by Beyonce and this sent a clear message that she was the top dog in the label. Tierra believes that it wasn't long after this that Jay-Z began to plot to have her replaced by Rihanna, but he knew that he had to be smart about it or his plan would backfire badly. Well, his chance came when the label decided to have a showcase where both she and Rihanna performed at. Beyonce was present at the showcase and either by luck or by grandmaster plan, she ended up sitting right beside L.A. Reid. Yeah, the same L.A. Reid who was putting a lot of energy into Tierra and wasn't really focusing so much on Rihanna. Coincidence? Well, Tierra doesn't think so. Now, at this time, Beyonce was already a superstar. Not only had she found fame as a member of Destiny's Child, but she had also found a lot of success as a solo artist. So she was already a pretty big deal even back then. So if she said something, people in the industry were guaranteed to listen. Also, she and Jay-Z were already dating at the time, and this made her the perfect person to help Jay-Z convince L.A. Reid to focus on Rihanna. Still think that this is a coincidence that she she managed to sit right next to him at the Def Jam showcase? Mm, I don't think so. But anyways, at the showcase, Rihanna and Tierra both did their thing, but Beyonce only had eyes for Rihanna, which isn't surprising with what we know now. She then turned to L.A. Reid and said something to him that would have completely changed Rihanna and Tierra's life. And at the showcase, there were two artists performing. Her name is Tierra Marie, and she's a really sweet girl. And the truth is I was paying a little more attention to her than I was to Rihanna. After the showcase, you know, Beyonce just gave me one of those looks and he said, that Rihanna girl, she's a beast. And she looked away, right? And I was like, so I did a Rihanna double take. 
you know but like i said before beyonce was already a powerhouse in the music so her opinion carried a lot of weight and y'all heard la himself admit that he really didn't see rihanna as a superstar before beyonce spoke to him so tiara wasn't capping when she said beyonce played a big role in her career getting ruined la immediately started paying more attention to rihanna and even though tiara was still his favorite it wasn't long before he started to slowly toss her aside for rihanna and things got even worse for her when the label started to push for her to change her entire vibe into something that she wasn't comfortable with they wanted her to give off a good girl gone bad type of vibe and i have to admit that this was kind of weird because she was still in high school there was no reason they should have wanted her to act grown rihanna on the other hand was more than happy to do what the label wanted especially since she naturally had the baddie vibe the label wanted oh and if you think that it's a coincidence that she named her third album good girl gone bad tiara is here to tell you that that is not a coincidence she believes that rihanna was trying to prove to the label that she would do anything anyways back to the label drama things continued to get worse for tiara when she dropped her debut album rockefeller records presents tiara marie the label had high hopes for the album but unfortunately for tiara her album sales did not meet up to the expectations that the label had the album sold 69,000 copies in the first week and charted at number five on the billboard 200 and number two on the Billboard Top R&B and Hip Hop Albums chart. Now these were decent numbers for a rookie because most artists don't even chart at the top 10 of the Billboard 200 for their first album. So a top five debut album was still good. But the label claimed that they were after something more than just good. So they made the decision to drop her from the label because of her low album sales. <laughs> you know, they didn't ready know. for the prom. Yeah, honey, getting ready. I was putting lotion on my legs, got a phone call, ring, ring. Hey, uh, yeah, we're gonna be letting you go. I was like, oh. But y'all want to know what really convinced Tiara that the label had turned against her? It's the fact that a couple weeks after her album dropped, Rihanna's debut album also dropped. And the interesting thing is that it also sold 69,000 copies in the first week, the exact same units as Tiara. Even more interesting, Music of the Sun only got to number 10 on the Billboard 200, which means that it charted lower than Tiara's album. By the logic that the label used with Tiara, Rihanna should have been dropped too right well wrong in fact not only was rihanna not dropped but she was given a chance after chance to prove herself to the label which is something that tiara didn't get now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that rihanna didn't fight to keep her spot because we all know how hard she worked i mean they had her dropping an album almost every single year for six or seven years straight but according to tiara the problem isn't that rihanna got another chance it's the fact that she wasn't given a chance to fight to prove her own self she was dropped at the first opportunity and she believes that this was jay-z's way of getting rid of the competition and according to insider she is still salty about this even though it's been such a long time she believes that jay-z and beyonce have been killing careers for a long time in hollywood and can't wait until people start finally seeing this side of the couple someone commented beyonce did that she knew what she was doing tiara has not recovered from them doing her like that another person said i don't think she's lying just because they have money and power which is sad but this other person doesn't think that beyonce is to blame and they said i don't think she can give 100 percent of the blame to j and b clearly beyonce said that to la reed because she was less threatened by rihanna everyone i mean everyone was hype about tiara marie at the time and b just wanted to knock out some competition okay y'all so i know this has been a lot to deal with but i need to know what y'all think about this do you think that jay-z and beyonce really planned this out or do you think that this is just a big coincidence let me know what you think and then check out this next video